correct our next topic is lower urinary tract symptoms in males in a male patient who comes with lower urinary tract symptom you have to principally think of three things one is prostate benign prostatic hypertrophy second is infection of any sort cystitis urethritis prostatitis and third one diagnosis that is often missed mistreated and hence causing more agony to the patient is overactive bladder this is the message that this lecture is going to give you do not miss overactive bladder in a male patient in a female patient it is easy to diagnose overactive bladder but because of the overlap in symptomatology that i'm going to show you you often will miss overactive bladder in a male patient next slide please so there are three kinds of symptoms in a male with lower urinary tract disease one is obstructive symptom meaning can't start hesitate hesitancy weak stream and straining somebody says can't aim <laughs> terminal dribbling can't stop and prolonged voiding can't get out of the bathroom and incomplete uh, emptying double voiding have to go back again very soon these are obstructive symptoms then the next set of symptoms are irritative symptoms need to go again and again frequency need to go immediately urgency need to wake up at night multiple times to go nocturia sometimes if i have to urgently go i leak in my trousers urge incontinence and very small voided volumes each time these are the two groups of symptoms in lower tract the third group is of course symptoms of infection meaning burning during micturition or sometimes pain in the lower abdomen so now we come to bph versus oab overactive bladder versus benign prostatic hypertrophy next slide please okay so let's say Uh, first let me medical students may or may not be aware of overactive bla bladder as an entity overactive bladder basically is a usually idiopathic disorder where at small volumes of the bladder fullness the detrusor muscle starts contracting detrusor overactivity usually without any reason occurs in males and females both some studies say females have a greater incidence than males but males have a, a very high incidence themselves can't start can it be overactive bladder no can't wait urgency can it be overactive bladder yes can't sleep can it be overactive bladder nocturia frequency yes can't aim can it be overactive bladder no and can't stop can it be overactive bladder no so you see that all five are prostatic symptoms of benign prostatic hypertrophy but the can't wait and the can't sleep because of nocturia are the chief symptoms of overactive bladder what often happens is the patient comes to the clinic his first statement he is 65 year old male his first statement to you is doctor you must do something about this i can't i have to wake up four times in the night to pass urine your first diagnosis automatically is benign prostatic hypertrophy which is incorrect you must ask more questions before you decide whether this is overactive bladder because if you diagnose bph and give patients certain drugs used for bph like drugs which relax the sphincter you will be causing worsening of the urge incontinence due to overactive bladder therefore 
to diagnose over it is and it is very easy just based on symptomatology overactive bladder and bph are principally diagnosis of symptomatology and this is a very simple area to not misdiagnose i think is that the last slide uh thank you thank you very much we'll come to the next lecture